Were you there? Good afternoon, everybody. Can everybody hear me okay? Just give me a thumbs up if you're there. Okay, awesome, thank you. We'll get started here in just a minute, about four minutes out. So we will go from there. I'm going to, uh, a couple people had asked for Desi. So I'm gonna uh, work on trying to get something with him here, hopefully this afternoon. So uh, that's my goal. So. Uh, if you guys uh, will uh, help, uh, it'll be another Zoom call just to make it easier for everybody so that everybody can get on that. So if you have any other requests, let me know. We'll get that uh, worked out. So thanks, guys. I appreciate your patience. about those wildcats.
everybody should be recording. If you're not, just let me know. And then if uh, when coach gets on, if you guys would just raise your hand so I know you have a question, I'll get to you. Make a little bit, uh, we'll organize there. So. Tom, can I get permission to record, please? Sure thing. Hold on one second. How we doing, fellas? Good morning, or good afternoon, Coach. Thank you for joining us. I guess we're not doing too well. Maybe y'all can't hear me. <laughs> good morning, Coach. Doing well. <laughs> I think everybody's on mute. I think everybody is. Hold on. I was trying All to make good. sure that we have good uh, audio Tom, quality. I can't hear for a word you're saying, bro. Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, it was me. It was me. Uh, <laughs> no problem. Thank you for the time, Coach. We appreciate it. Um, we'll, uh, if uh, you want to just make a general opening thought about just opening up, uh, I guess not really officially opening up the season, but just uh, the first exhibition game in front of the public, and then we'll go to questions. Oh, well, I mean, I know the fellas are excited, um, to, you know, to play a game in front of our fans and um, – hit somebody else and they're probably tired of hearing my voice and uh, but I mean uh, practices have been well uh, no major injuries um, the guys have done a really good job of competing and, and getting better a little bit better every day and uh, you know we obviously everybody saw the uh, the Louisville score last night so um, it's it's always good to get a attention getter you know that man these teams uh they they're they're coming in because uh they're, they're they're trying to get a win you know and we we have to respect our opponents and um regardless of the name on the front and you know we we want to be the aggressor and the the team that's that's the hungriest so um you know look, looking forward to it looking for, i i i'm you know like i go from being nervous to being excited to you know um you know you can feel like it's it's coming and so I'm, I'm trying not to let it impact the way we approach practice or how I deal with people and so that's that's been quite interesting thank you coach we'll start with questions the first one goes to Tim Fitzgerald hey coach how are you doing well um you didn't have a media day and um I'm just wondering if this was to make sure you're using your practice time for practice and not kind of getting those hours in on, you know, talking to guys like this. What were your thoughts behind that? Um, well, first thing is I didn't know it was a requirement. <laughs> it's um, not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, you know, I thought the Big 12 was our media day. And really, we just, man, we got so much to do and just trying, trying to keep, you know, that time that we get with them real sacred and, and together and, and moving in the right direction. Okay, with that in mind, um, what is the kind of 
place this team's in right now? Still, you, you got to see them in the game to kind of get a better evaluation. Yeah, I, I like our talent. Um, you know, I think we've got some talent. I think we've got some competitive guys. I think we've got some guys who have won and know how to win. And so, and, um, and they get along. So I, I like the group. How challenging has it been to take all those different pieces coming from different directions, different programs, different philosophies, and, and trying to get them into what Jerome Tang wants the basketball team to look and feel like? Um, you know, uh, I think that's the, like the key, how quickly, um, they can figure out what it is that I consider good basketball, you know, and, uh, and there's, cause there's a lot of ways, like we always say, there's a lot of ways to get to four. So two plus two, two times two, three minus one, three plus one, and no one way is more right than the other. It's just how do we want to do it? And how do me and the staff see us accomplish and get into four and, and the guys understanding that. So that, that that's that's going to take some time. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thanks, Tim. Next question to uh, Todd Lebo, WHB in Kansas City. Hey, Coach. I wonder, you know, if we haven't seen a Jerome Tang team yet, right? So if people are watching this tomorrow night and things are going well, what's that look like? What, what, are, what are people going to look at and say, that's, that's the way you want basketball to be played? Uh, we are guarding, we're rebounding, and we're sharing the ball, taking, taking practice shots. And you mentioned the guys are fired up about this. How fired up and excited are you for your first time on the sideline in the, in the, in the first seat with your program, even though it's not a real game yet? No, it's real. It's real because, I mean, y'all going to write real articles if we don't win this thing, right? So it's, it's real. And uh, I, I am excited. I, I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, just all like, I, I don't, you know, like what shows up on the scoreboard and whether the ball goes in the hole, you know, um, that's, you know, it's going to happen some nights and it's not going to happen some nights. I just, I just want to see our guys like really, really compete and uh, share the ball. If we do those two things. It would be steps in the right direction. Thanks coach. Good luck. I should say share the ball with us, not with the other team. Thanks, Todd. Uh, next question to Tim Everson from the Manhattan Mercury. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? Doing well, Tim. Um, starting lineup-wise, has that, that kind of been drawn up yet, or is that going to be more of a, a decision for tomorrow? Uh, again, pretty like I am not married to a starting lineup. So it's the guys who compete the hardest and during the week in preparation. And um, so, you know, I know there's still a couple guys out there that uh, it's close with. And sometimes I just don't like guys being comfortable, you know, thinking they can, you know, so every, every day. And uh, uh, I learned this from Dave Aranda. And I think I've heard Coach Kleiman say it a couple of times that, you know, every week's a new week with a new team, you know, and, uh, so every after every game we start over and you gotta you gotta bring it right and as we build to where we want to get to and um so uh you know don't know the starting lineup right now but pretty horned honing in on it and then are there any guys that you're, you're looking more for a red shirt situation this year or is that a, another kind of decision for a little little later down the road well, it's going to have to happen after this exhibition. And, um, you know, the, the, the good problem we have right now when you're building a program, thinking big picture, is when you're wondering, man, I don't know if we're going to be able to redshirt these guys because they're doing so well. And those are the guys that you want to redshirt is you want to red, be able to redshirt good players. You don't redshirt bad ones. And so both uh, Dorian and Taj um, have had us as a staff wondering, can we, you know, or can they contribute to winning right now? But, you know, I, I firmly believe that Taj, Dorian at 22 are better than Taj and Dorian at 18. And so um, I wouldn't want to burn this year for either one of them. 
um, unless it was good business for both of us. It's good for them. They're playing consistent minutes and they're helping us win. And, you know, and we're able to win games. You know, um, that would be, that, that, that's that's the, the tough question we're having to dig through as a staff right now. Thanks, Jim. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, next question to Kellis Robinette from the Kansas City Star. Hey, Jerome, thanks for doing this. Um, I know in the past you said we'll, you know, focus on defense and we'll figure offense out when the season gets going. Do you know yet what kind of your identity is going to be when you got the ball in your hands? Um, we're going to throw it to the open person and take practice shots. That's, that's a simple – basketball is very simple, right? It's just hard to do simple. And our goal is to do simple better than everybody else. And if we will shoot practice shots, um, we're, we're going to be pretty good. It's the, when we take shots that aren't practice shots that, you know, that that's what's going to hurt your team. And so getting everybody to buy in, to moving the basketball, moving their bodies and letting the open guy take the shot, that's, that's what it's going to come down to. How much development have you seen out of Bessie Sills since he joined your program? Oh, man, there's, there's been a blessing. First of all, he's a, he's a winner and a competitor. And uh, he, he really knows how to communicate out on the basketball court. And um, I mean, his energy level is contagious. And you just seen, you know, just multiple guys, competitiveness and energy has picked up since Des has been here. And, you know, part of that is that, you know, we have another guard, which means somebody's gonna have to be on the bench when Desi's on the floor. And so that, that stirs the competitive juices you know, really well, but I'm, I'm, I'm so excited uh, to have Desi on the team. Uh, well, and one more for you. What's the main thing you stress with, with your big guys when they're there, when they're in there, you stress defense, rebounding, offense. What, what do you like? What's the one staple you want out of that, that spot? Man, I, I want them to be, uh, to put pressure on the offense by rim running, rim running in transition. And then I want them to set really great screens and rim run like uh that, that's that's there they are if they will rim run they will um impact the defense by making a second defender have to help and if a second defender has to help it's going to create an opening for somebody else and so they're doing that and then you know catch and finish you know and that, that's it sounds very simple but it's it's hard to do but we're going to do simple better all right. Thanks, Jerome. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, thanks, Kellis. Uh, next question uh, to Alec Bussey from uh, EMA Online. Hey, Coach. Good afternoon. Thanks for doing this. I guess my question <clears throat> kind of centers around what you said in your opening statement about the team being anxious to hit and practice against someone else, in your words. Um, do you have any concerns or expectations heading into this that there might be a slow start or anything along those lines? Well, not at home. I, I think the excitement of being at home is gonna. Um, we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna start fast. I don't, I don't mean we'll start well, but we're gonna start fast. And and then part of being at home in front of a crowd for the first time is maybe slowing down, not being as fast, taking a deep breath, and you know, not not pitching the ball all over the place. And so I, as a coach, I'm concerned about our turnovers the first game at the start because we are too anxious. And then to follow up with that, you talked about being a little bit concerned about your turnovers, um, just being a little anxious with it being the first game. Where has the team been with that in practice and how confident are you that that's something that can potentially get rectified before the end of the year? No, well, I'm pretty confident we know how to rectify it. And, uh, you know, the, the bench does wonders for um, guys value, value in the ball more. And since we have depth, um, you know, guys, you know, will, I, I just don't want one mistake to lead to two. Basketball is a game of mistakes. Mistakes are going to happen. We just can't turn it over and then hang our head. You know, we got to sprint back and make the next right play. Um, those, those things. And so th th they're going to happen. But I, I, I do feel like we've got enough um, ball handlers and good basketball players that we can be a low turnover team. Uh, next question to Arnie Green. Uh, 
unmute yourself, Arnie. Sorry about that. Still getting used to this again. Um, just curious about going into this game. Is there anything in particular you're looking for from before from your team uh, and maybe some answers going into the to the regular season? Um, yeah, we're going to hopefully try and get a better grasp of who we're going to redshirt and who we're not. Are we better with three guards on the floor or, you know, two guards and two wings? You know, those are some things that we're going to look at. And, but I think uh, more importantly is just to see how these guys respond to fans in the stands and, you know, like the, 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 the scrimmage we did that was closed and they didn't, so none of their families could send them text messages to find out why they weren't playing or why they turned down that shot or any of those things, you know, I mean, you know, this is going to be the, their egos for the ones who aren't, don't play as much as maybe they thought they were going to play, you know, they're going to have to, you know, check their egos and be great teammates and all those. So there's, there's, there's so much that you're looking at in this first opportunity. Um, if you're asking on the floor, I just, I want to find out, you know, what we're better at, you know, as far as what lineups and then, you know, off the floor is how do our guys respond to playing, not playing good plays, bad plays, being in the huddle with fans and cheerleaders and the band and all of that, you know, just, just kind of get that out the way. Um, you also talked about uh, you have some depth. It looks like anyway on paper you got pretty good versatility too. Is that something you're you're kind of exploring now? What where different players can fit in in different roles? Yeah, it's um, you know it's a work in progress. The good thing about it is like in our league, um, there are a variety of teams. Everybody's not cookie cutter, so. You're, some guys who may play a lot one night because of matchups may not play as much the next night because of matchups, but we do have, um, I feel like we have enough that, that we can, get, like, whatever anybody throws at us, we can have an answer for. Appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, next question to Michael Goins from uh, Go Cat. Hey, Coach, have you been able to identify one or two of your best ball handlers so far? Yeah, um, you know, Marquise Noel and uh, Desi Seals are both terrific ball handlers. They're, they're good playmakers, um, and they can both make shots, and so that, that really helps you. Uh, Cam Carter is, is developing and continuing to develop, learning to really value the ball, and, but he's really shooting it at a high clip right now in practice, so interested to see how that translates to the floor. And it sounds like you expect to be multifaceted. Do you think you see uh, Envision going nine deep and having kind of some specialty guys? Um, you know, uh, in the private scrim uh, practice, we played 11 and, um, you know, tomorrow, um, I think we'll probably play 10, you know, and then we'll see what happens from there. Uh, next question to Ben Boyle. Hey, Coach. Um, you mentioned the scrimmage with SIU. Uh, a couple takeaways from that. Like, what did you like the best? And what did you see that you need to work on the most coming out of that? Well, what we need to work, what we need to work on, continue work on is our turnovers. We, you know, we, we had... Um, the kind of turnovers that we've been highlighting in practice, you know, like, hey, we have to get better at these things. Um, just the first live action, guys reverted to their old habits and in the first half. The second half, we did a much better job of taking care of the basketball. Uh, what I liked was that when the other team made a run, they actually took the lead on us for a little bit. Uh, we didn't panic, we, you know, settled down, regroup kept doing what we do and was able to push the lead back to double digits in the second half. And so that type of maturity um, was, I, I liked seeing that from our guys. And what would you say like percentage wise of your offense 
sets, inbounds, plays, all of that that you've got in right now? Mm, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to figure out, are we going to be a sets team or can we, can we play, can we just play basketball? You know, they didn't know how to play, you know, the right way and with each other and how much of that. And so, you know, if, if, if we can't, then we're going to have to put in more sets. And so how many more, I don't know how much, how much can this group absorb, you know, I mean, cause it's not just about having it in, it's about being able to execute it and um, not to, to be playing and not thinking. And so that's, we're learning all of that right now with, with the team. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any other questions for coach before we let him go? Going, going. Okay. Coach, we appreciate the time. We'll see you tomorrow night. Well, appreciate you guys. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. Thank coach. you guys. Have a good day. Thank you.